Community college students across the state have just been given a lifeline to stay in school. The California Community College Board of Governors has approved an updated pass, no pass, grading policy to discourage students from dropping out. Here's KPBS education reporter M.G. Perez. Yeah, we do need to talk about that. Edward Borak is at work and often in school, online from his dining room table, problem solving. You can't like unplug a monitor or plug in my laptop. It's all enclosed. Edward works as a program assistant at Miramar College, where he is also president of the Associated Student Government, and he's taking 17 units of credit this semester. He's working on a business administration degree. A lot of people lost their jobs. I lost my job due to the pandemic, and they can't afford it. College is expensive incredibly expensive. California community college students struggling to pay tuition also can't afford to have their grades drop because they risk losing financial aid and lowering their GPA and chances at transferring to a four-year university. Many have dropped out. In response, the state community college board of governors will now allow students until their last day of class in a semester to decide whether they want a letter grade or a pass no pass rating to relieve pressure. Just because you want to get that 90 as opposed to an 89. Um, if you're taking a pass, no pass, it wouldn't be as much of an issue. You wouldn't have to struggle so much to succeed. Students were struggling with remote instruction. Um, they were struggling with um, family members being ill uh, due to COVID. Adrian Gonzalez is vice president of student affairs at Miramar College. If in a normal situation they would have gotten an A, but because of everything they're dealing with, you know, they're struggling maybe getting a C. This allowed them to say, hey, I'll take it as a pass, no pass, and not have to worry about the pressures of the A, B, or C on my transcript. A change in community college policy does not mean a change for schools like San Diego State or any other four-year universities that require traditional grading. So there is very much a calculated risk for students. It's going to take us a little while to really determine what the long-term impact of this is and how we as higher ed We'll need to make adjustments to, to support the students who are now coming out of the high schools. We all bring our laptops and work because we're going back and forth. Edward Borek will keep problem solving until he completes an MBA or gets into law school. I think that you have to be optimistic and shoot for the stars. MG Perez, KPBS News.